through the point that you made earlier, and I think that this is one to come back to and one that we have to continually reemphasize for people. Ultimately, the individual responsible for this is the murderer. However, if we're going to look for other things that could have prevented this, then we have to look at the Broward Sheriff who fielded numerous reports. We also have to look at the FBI who received two tips, really credible tips that this guy was a potential school shooter. I mean, Grant, I'll say it again. I'm not a member of the FBI and I'm not a member of law enforcement. I'm not some sort of criminal profiler. But when someone's on social media saying that they literally want to, quote, be a professional school shooter, when they're sending messages to their classmates saying that they're going to shoot them at school, when they're taking bullets and knives in their backpacks, the school banned the backpack, but not this murderer, when they're, when they're they're posting animal abuse photos, assaulting their parents, assaulting other classmates, as well as calling law enforcement on themselves. These are huge red flags. And one of those violated a Florida statute, which is a felony under Florida state law. And the Broward Sheriff had the authority to act and didn't. Instead of him rushing to blame NRA members, he needs to figure out what's going on with his own with his own leadership. I'm just, I'm tired of this. Coral Springs ran towards the noise. Broward Sheriff ran towards the camera lights. That's the bottom line. He continues to do it, and he continues to create an unsafe environment by continually shifting blame and responsibility to innocent law-abiding Americans all over this country, who we are parents to, Grant. I want that to be known. We are also parents.